collage of um, some of the screenshots that I took of some of the animations that I made in my previous job. Wow! <laughs> These are really high quality material. Uh, this is a picture from my wedding a few weeks ago. Okay, wow. I took with my students who came to the wedding. Uh -huh. Congratulations again, by Thank the way. You. Yeah. you know, a lot of these days, like a lot of people, they seek attention. Right. You know? I wondered why it wasn't Moses or Noah, you know, who did more wonderful and miraculous things. Like he, Enoch wasn't the guy who, you know, built an, built an ark. He mm -hmm. didn't write the commandments. Walking faithfully with him every single day, that's more important to him. Good morning, JCS. Welcome to another Friday Chapel. And today we have another wonderful guest. Uh, we have the new bride, Sejinbu, Miss Claire. Thank you for being with us, Miss Claire. Thank you for having me today. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. <laughs> and a little nervous because it's my first time being interviewed for anything. <laughs> okay, well, uh, last time Miss Ina was on here, but she said the same thing, but she <laughs> did such a wonderful job. So I'm sure you will also do a great job. Hopefully. <laughs> how's, uh, how's married life? Um, it's been great so far. I've been married for 16 or 17 days, and yeah, it's been a lot of fun. I'm what? noticing some differences here and there already, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're making it work. Okay, sounds great. <laughs> well, uh, everyone knows who you are, but uh -huh. let's give you a chance to sort of introduce yourself sure. to JCS. Okay. Hi everyone, my name is Claire and I'm an elementary school teacher here at JCS and I teach 4th and 5th grade science and math class. And these are some pictures that I chose to describe myself. So the first picture here I have is a picture of an airplane. And I chose this picture for two reasons. Um, the first reason is because I love traveling. And What is the favorite place that you've uh, traveled uh, to in the past? favorite place. I loved every places that I've been to so far, but my favorite place is Tokyo, Japan. Oh, wow. Yeah. And is there a reason? Well, I love... Um, metropolitan cities like those loud and busy places wow yeah, that's where i feel most alive i guess yeah <laughs> totally opposite of me yeah, <laughs> yeah i Are love you a nature person i love rural places <laughs> where i can be alone at peace in nature <laughs> I see. wow okay yeah okay and the second reason why i chose that uh, picture is because i spent um, a lot of my childhood and my adolescent life living abroad so i lived five years in germany and eight years in China and five years in America. So if I add that up, that roughly becomes half of my life. Wow. Do you still speak German or Chinese? Uh, I speak a little bit of Chinese, mm -hmm. but not a lot of German. You were very young when you were living in Germany? Yeah, I was I see. Like four or five. I see. Mm -hmm. Okay. Has all that travel been a positive influence in your life? Well, now that I look back upon it, it was... I am grateful that I've had the experience of, you know, traveling and seeing the world and experiencing different cultures. Mm -hmm. But when I was growing up, it was it was pretty challenging because mm. I had to move around a lot, which means I had to say goodbye to my friends every three, two or three years. So I that see. was quite tough. Mm. <laughs> okay, please tell us about this uh, second picture you got going on there. Yeah, um, the second picture is a picture of a MBTI personality. Um, as you know, MBTI is huge and really popular these days in Korea. Yeah. So I've tried it myself, mm -hmm. and it turns out I am an INFJ. Oh, okay. I am INTJ. So, oh, that's uh, so cool. Yeah, we have similar personality traits. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. So I, I guess I means introvert, mm -hmm. which means I like spending time alone mm -hmm. and in small groups. And what's on it? N is intuitive meaning I'm more of a dreamer than a realist. Mm -hmm. And F means feelings, so that means I prioritize people's feelings over logic. Mm -hmm. And what's the last one? J, judging. That means right. I'm not a judger, but I like planning stuff and like organizing stuff. I see. Yeah. 
And does that very closely match your own personality? I was very surprised by how accurate it was. Wow. So you should try it, definitely. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's this picture you have going on here? Uh, that's a picture, that's a collage of um, some of the screenshots that I took of some of the animations that I made in my previous job. Wow! <laughs> These are really high quality material. <laughs> Thank you. So I wrote some of the stories myself and I worked closely with the um, animators and I was uh, sort of like the producer of these animations. Mm. Do you still uh, have good feelings when you watch like similar children's animation? Yeah, I love watching especially like Disney or Pixar movies. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was my job to watch them actually and mm. it is my um, dream as well to write one of those 3D animation stories one day. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't know how many of you have been to uh, Miss Claire's art classes, but uh, she always has this really creative projects going on. So, <laughs> Thank uh, you. yeah, you want to check those out. Okay, so um, we're interested in some of the pictures that you've taken in the past, and uh, please uh, tell us about some of these pictures. Let's take a look at the first one. What's going on here? Uh, <laughs> that's actually a picture of my parents. Um, it was quite hard to choose one picture that was meaningful to me. Okay. So I decided to, to just show you the one that makes me laugh. Mm. So whenever I see this picture, um, it just reminds me of how I want to live my life, mm. especially with my husband now that I'm married. Mm -hmm. And my parents are, to me, like the ideal couple that I want to become. Like. Wow. So, yeah, mm. I just want to, you know, have fun throughout the whole life. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They look really happy together. <laughs> they fight a lot, they argue a lot. They're not going to be happy when they realize <laughs> that I showed this picture to the whole school. But oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah, that's my favorite picture of them. Yeah, well, uh, Dr. Lee and I mm -hmm. are both very good friends with your mother. Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, and she's such a wonderful lady. I have so much respect for her. Thank you. Uh, she is so kind. <laughs> she always inspires us with her faith. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm glad you chose that picture. So let's take a look at... Um, Oh, okay. What's uh, this picture you have going on here? Uh, this is a picture from my wedding a few weeks ago. Okay, this wow. This is a picture I took with my students who came to the wedding. Uh -huh. Congratulations again, by thank the way. Thank you. Yeah. And I'd like to take this opportunity to thank everyone who came to my wedding and those of you who congratulated me even though you couldn't make it. So thank you a lot and mm -hmm. it really it meant a lot to me. Mm. So uh, one thing I remember about this day was uh, mm -hmm. it rained a lot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it rained a lot, and uh, you you were um, actually this is uh, I don't think I don't think I've told anyone, but um, both when I met met your mom and when I met you mm -hmm. before the wedding, I mm -hmm. said please don't cry today, please don't cry today. <laughs> And uh, when you cried a little bit in front of your mother, I was crying like a little girl. You cried <laughs> I was, too? I was, I was crying. I was crying. Uh, Tears I were flowing. I tried not to cry, so. but whenever when I saw my mom's face, yeah. it just came pouring down. Yeah, I'm sure. I, yeah. I hear that's that's quite the thing in a wedding. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. Okay. So uh, please recommend to us one of the books or movies that are meaningful to you. Uh, so today I want to introduce this movie. It's called The Secret Life of Walter Mitty. Okay. And it, it's it's a movie that I watch when I'm sad, when I'm happy, and when I'm bored. It's just whenever I have the opportunity, I just watch this movie. Oh. It's my favorite one. And is there a reason why is this one your favorite? Well, it's got everything that I like. It's got um, traveling. It's got photography. It's got adventure. So. Yeah, it's just one of those movies that makes you want to, you know, jump into a plane and just go anywhere. Mm -hmm. Like, otherwise, you, it feels like you're not living your full life. I see. <laughs> yeah. I see. Were there uh, particularly memorable scenes from the movie? Yeah, um, there's this scene where this Walter Mitty and this photographer, Sean O'Connell, I think his name was, mm -hmm. are watching a leopard? Snow leopard? Leopard? Leopard. Leopard, okay. leopard. yeah. So, yeah. That's the scene, and this uh, photographer says, beautiful things don't ask for attention. And that um, quote really um, spoke to me, mm -hmm. because, um, you know, a lot of these days, like a lot of people, they seek attention. Right. And they crave those attention, and whenever they don't have that, they feel worthless and insignificant. Mm -hmm. And it's just sad that um, people value themselves. Some people value themselves only as how they 
others value them. I see. So, yeah. That's very deep. <laughs> yeah. See, it says uh, beautiful things don't ask for attention. And uh, I'm always asking for attention. <laughs> so. <laughs> Uh, Miss Claire, please tell us about your favorite Bible verse. Sure. Um, my favorite Bible verse is Genesis 5, 23-24. Mm -hmm. uh, let me read it for you. Um, Thus all the days of Enoch were 365 years. Enoch walked with God, and he was not, for God took him. Genesis 5, 23-24. And why is this one your favorite Bible verse? Uh, well, a lot of you might wonder the same question because mm -hmm. it's not one of the more popular verses from the Bible. Right, I was kind of surprised when I saw it for the first time. Yeah, but um, this verse got me through some tough times as well and it helped me every single time when I have to make a really important life decisions. Mm -hmm. And to tell you the story a little bit, um, when I was growing up, I had this pressure that I had to become someone, you know, great and wonderful and someone who's famous and, you know, someone who appears on the cover of a magazine. So. I don't know where the pressure came from, but I felt like if I was anything less than that, then I would be, you know, letting God down and I'd be disappointing Him. Mm -hmm. But um, one day when I was in high school, I heard this sermon um, from a pastor and it was about Enoch. And it completely changed how I thought about what it means to be successful in life in Christ. So. Um, the sermon was about Enoch. So Enoch was this one of two guys who literally didn't die. Who, right. <laughs> yeah, who escaped death mm -hmm. and literally taken by God to heaven. So I wondered what was so special about Enoch that made God, you know, take him away. Like he loved him so much, right? Right. So I wondered why it wasn't Moses or Noah, you know, who did more wonderful and miraculous things like he Enoch wasn't the guy who you know built an built an ark he mm -hmm. didn't write the commandments he didn't you know perform miracles and so I wondered what was so special about him mm -hmm. and in the scripture it says that Enoch walked faithfully with God and that was the clue you mm -hmm. know so this made me realize that um, it was never you know God's wish for me to become famous or mm -hmm. someone who's noteworthy, someone who appears on the cover of a magazine, it was my wish, you know? Mm -hmm. And um, this completely changed me. And I'm not saying that not I'm not saying that you can't be famous or don't be, you know, successful or anything, mm -hmm. but it's sometimes easy for us to make the mistake thinking that, you know, worldly success is the only way to glorify God. Mm. And in God's eyes, walking faithfully with him every single day. That's more important to him. I see. So, yeah. Mm. Well, okay, you are already more than noteworthy here, and you are the star <laughs> of JCS Chapel. Yay. So you're on the right track. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. And walking faithfully with God. So you get the best of both worlds. All right. Thanks. So uh, thank you for that Bible message. Uh, as you were teaching the students uh, this semester, mm -hmm. are there any incidents or things that sort of pop in your mind, anything that was especially memorable to you? Well, every day with the fourth and fifth graders is very dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> I always have some sort of story to tell at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. But um, a few days ago, um, I wanted to share this story about Jaden. Okay. <laughs> I'm, it's I'm, a good uh, story, don't worry about I, I'm it. I'm cautious, okay. <laughs> so we were in math class, and I was teaching the fourth graders the difference between a line and a line segment. Oh. So do you know the difference between a line and a line segment? A uh, line is an infinite continuation yes. of thoughts, yes. and a segment has ends on one side and is infinite on the other side? Actually, oh, is that Ray? Both, yeah. Oh, it ends on both sides. Yeah, it oh, ends okay. on both sides. That's okay. a line segment. Right. So I was ex explaining that to Jaden, Victoria, and Timothy, and Jaden was like, "Oh, so line is God, and wow, <laughs> a line segment is us, like the people, because we have an end." Oh, yeah. So, oh. so profound, right? <laughs> wow. Okay. So it's those little things that they say and do every single day that makes me, you know, oh, so I'm doing something that matters, you know, teaching mm. these kids. And it's just wonderful to see how they grow every single day and mature into these wonderful people in Christ. Wow, that's very deep. Yeah. Wow. Okay. 
So uh, my son is doing something right, yes. is what you're saying. Okay, yes. I, I, I shouldn't worry too much then. Oh, okay, that's, that's very good. Okay, and uh, as we conclude chapel, uh, is there anything, any last message that you want to say to our JCS students? Uh, well, it's been nine months since I worked here, and it has been a privilege to get to know every single one of you, and I hope to get to know you more, and I love you all. <laughs> okay. Bye. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, thanks again for being here, and I hope this was an opportunity where all of our students got to know you a little more, and uh, let's uh, continue to look forward to great things. Thank you everybody for joining Chapel, and have a good day. Bye-bye.